None of us like seeing the video behind you, Felicia. These oh, potholes. I mean, these can be a pain, but tonight there is concrete with a high tech twist that might be able to help. Help us all. We need it. So <laughs> it was installed today on Indy South Side as part of the I-69 finish line project. Our Jenny Runovich tonight shows us how it works and the big benefits for construction beyond preventing potholes. Well, here on the new I-69, you can't see it, but contractors will be able to hear it, so to speak. New technology embedded right into the concrete that talks to them, lets them know whether a highway is strong, whether it needs to be fixed. In the construction zone from 465 to the new I-69 on the south side, Purdue researchers just installed what they call talking concrete. Yes, that's a thing, and it could be a game changer for our highways, saving money, reducing potholes, and speeding up construction projects so road closures don't have to last as long. Take a look under the rebar, those star-shaped sensors. Six of them will communicate with engineers about the road's strength and stability in real time. Those data will give the DOT engineers and the contractors um, you know, a lot of information, they can use that information to make data driven decisions on when they should open the traffic, right, when they should do repairing. Purdue professor Luna Liu invented the technology. It's being tested here as part of a nationwide pilot program. Normally, testing a road's quality is a cumbersome process. Invented a century ago, taking samples of concrete with cylinders. With this tech, you just lay a sensor in the pavement. Boom, five seconds, that's it. And then as an engineer or contractors, we can get information from cloud-based and then you can looking at the information on your iPad, on your tablets, on your cell phone. In an instant, is the highway strong enough to take traffic or is the concrete getting weak and in need of repair? By using the sensor, we can detect the, the early, you know, sign of that pothose may be coming up before it become a bigger problem. Talking concrete, speaking to taxpayers too, it's estimated these sensors could save 30% or more on road construction costs. In Indianapolis, Jenny Runovich, 13 News. Well, Purdue and NDOT plan to analyze data they get from that south side interchange over the next six months. And then the technology could expand to other roads and highways.